Hi, welcome to Chorus House. Today we've got for you the Castelli Toe Thingy 2 in Fluoro. These are unisex and they come in one size. There we go. So let's lift them out. Right, uh, they come with a little tissue paper. Let's chop that away. Castelli Toe Thingy 2. Um, I had the first generation of these in black. Um, they were really good. So I thought I'd get the second generation of these in fluoro. Um, just that I like fluoro shoe covers rather than black. I just feel that um, at night time or in the low light, it's higher visibility for me. It's just for extra safety, that's all. So let's uh, get them off the card and let's have a look at them. Yeah, that one's off the card. Let's put it there. That one's off the card. Let's just get the tags out of the way. Okay, so there they are. Um, we'll bring in the card. Let's have a look. Three mil neoprene for warmth in wet and dry conditions. I'm probably only going to use them in dry conditions. Easy on and off and flat lock seam construction. And there's all the other um, languages there for you. So we've got number one, three mil neoprene. Number two, easy on and off. And number three, flat lock seam construction. So let's have a look at that. They are three mil neoprene. Let's turn them inside out so we can have a look. There's the flat lock seam. They are brushed. Or if you've ever had a wetsuit, um, exactly the same. Uh, one size fits all made in China. Hand wash, cold water, no bleach, no iron and drip dry. So I believe the only difference between these and the old ones, apart from I brought them in a different colour, is that they're longer um, and the underneath bit is different, I believe. That is different, this uh, texturing, this rubbery. It's obviously neoprene, but it's got a texture on the outside. It's quite sticky. That might just be sticky against the skin but if we look carefully we can see uh, the neoprene underneath and then the shiny like um, grippy texture surface on the top. So what I want to do is I'm bringing in one of my Bunt Riots, um, my road shoe and um, we're gonna put this over. I'll take off my um, guard. This might not be easy on screen in fact, I'm going to take it because uh, I'm stretching a little bit, but how how tall is it? So let's put it over. This isn't going to be easy at all, one-handed. So I'm going to take it off camera. Now that was, again, it would have been easier if I'd have had my, uh, had my shoe on. So um, yes, that comes up quite a bit past the uh, cleat, as you can see. It almost covers the whole of the front of the shoe. It's right up to the dial, right up to the bower dial. Um, just it was hard getting over the cleat um, with the shoe off. With the shoe on, I'm pretty sure that you're going to have absolutely no problem at all in putting that on um, because you don't have to hold the shoe in one hand and try and put that on with the other hand. I'm going to put the other one on my foot. Now, I'll just put the other uh, road shoe on, do it up. I'm just going to test out whether or not it's 100% easier to put it on. Okay, that's about 400 times easier to put it on uh, with, when you've got your shoe on. Okay, yeah. Uh, at least 400 times, if not 403 times more easier to put it on. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry. That is going to be super easy to get on um, with your shoe. I like the, um, I like this black underneath part. It doesn't make a seal underneath where it's wet. So you're going to get water penetration um, underneath the shoe cover, but three mil neoprene, does the trick as always. Um, that flat lock seam is beautiful, 
beautifully stitched. Nothing I wouldn't expect from Castelli. I'm a big fan of theirs. Um, I don't get paid for doing their reviews. Their reviews? What am I saying? For reviews, when I buy their stuff, I just like their stuff. I've always liked their stuff. Um, it's always it's always good quality. I've never had a problem with it. These are going to be brilliant. Um, I think the other, the first versions were a little bit shorter. This comes, well, it's at least half the shoe. Um, yep, I've got no worries with these at all. They look fantastic. So uh, we've got a waist on. So we'll bring in our scales. We'll take that off the shoe. That was easy. We'll take that one off the shoe. That was easy. So we have, um, for one of them, is going to be 31 grams. That one came out as. I'm just going to try and make it into a pile. So it fits on. That one's 32. I'm just going to make sure if uh, we have the right weight for that one. 31. So 31 and 32. That's going to equal 63. And it does. So um, quite lightweight. They're going to do the business. No problems at all with those. Let's put them back so you can see them. Again, they come in black. I just like the fluoro colour. Those are going to be brilliant. And I shall be using them on my cold morning rides. Depending on how cold it is, I might go for the four foot ones, which I've got another video on from another company. But this video is on the Castelli one, so I'm not going to mention those. Again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you like the videos. Leave a comment for me below. Thank you very much. We'll see you again on Cairo's house. Take care. Bye.